हेलो एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी अ सैम्पल प्रपोजल सो ऑन द टॉप यू हैव टू राइट द रेफरेंस आई डी लाइक दिस एज इट इज रिटर्न हियर आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू राइट द टाइटल आई हैव टोल्ड ऑल द वर्ड लिमिट्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई विल प्रोवाइड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू राइट द टाइटल आफ्टर राइटिंग द टाइटल यू हैव टू राइट द इंट्रोडक्शन इंट्रोडक्शन विल बी लाइक द टाइटल इज Study of relationship between 2D 4D ratio with stress coping mechanism in hypertensive patients. So I have three things here: 2D 4D ratio is there, stress coping mechanism is there, and hypertension is there. So there are three paragraphs. One is explaining about 2D 4D ratio, another one about hypertension, and last one is about stress. So you have to make the introduction in a way which will be explaining your title and explaining your study. what already literature is telling about it and then here is the need for the study here is the need for the study after writing this like why this study is needed after writing this you have to go and you have to write your objectives these are the objectives objectives can be 1 2 3 but there is word limit for that also so here the objectives are to evaluate the relation between 2d 4d ratio and the stress coping mechanism among hypertensive patient it is similar to title so mostly title will be explaining the whole study after that you have to write the objectives and then methodology in methodology this is materials and methods you can copy and paste it exactly firstly you have to write about study design most of this study design about the icmr sts will be cross sectional observational study because we are not going to experiment we are just going to observe so it is just observational and cross sectional means we will just uh, take up the patient we will uh, interview them and then we will send them off we are not going to follow them up or we are not taking some normal people some abnormal people so it is not like that so it is mostly cross sectional only rest of the things will be depending on the research you are doing another one is study setting where the study will be conducted so here government general hospital mahbubnagar after that what is your study population to whom you are going to include in your study here all the adult hypertensive patient their age should be more than 18 years and they are of both genders then you have to write inclusion criteria and exclusion criteria to whom you are going to include for example in this study we are measuring 2d 4d ratio that is the ratio of your index finger and the ring finger so if any person who is having some abnormality in ring finger or in index finger we are obviously we are going to exclude them so that for that thing will be coming in the exclusion criteria and inclusion criteria everything hypertensive patient that person should be that person should be more than 18 year of age either the person is newly diagnosed or person is old hypertensive patient but he is coming for regular follow up so all these things we will be including after that sample procedure how you are going to collect the sample so we are going to collect the sample randomly in this it is written as simple random sample collection after this it is sample size what sample size you will keep usually we will be taking 150 patients since we can do some error so expecting that error we will be taking total 165 patients but at last we have to take only 150 patient we will be excluding the other 15 patients in this in which we have done some errors after this how you are going to collect the data it is very important how you are going to collect whether you are going to go to the patient home what all test you are going to do how you are going to measure the 2d 4d ratio how you are going to measure the stress so all these things you have to write how you are going to collect the data after this statistical analysis means how you are going to analyze after that you will be getting like among 150 patient 100 people are having this stress coping mechanism 50 patient are having this stress coping mechanism so how you are going to analyze which one is more prominent which one is less what is the relation between 2d 4d ratio and age of onset so all these things you will be mostly doing in the 
एस पी एस एस सॉफ्टवेयर आफ्टर दिस स्टडी ड्यूरेशन सो इन स्टडी ड्यूरेशन यू हैव टू राइट एट वॉट पीरियड यू आर गोइंग टू डू स्टडी फॉर हाउ मच टाइम यू आर गोइंग टू डू स्टडी सो यू हैव टू डू स्टडी फॉर टू मंथ्स दैट टू नेक्स्ट ईयर इन समर वैकेशन सो यू कैन राइट इन दैट वे टू मंथ्स दैट इज मे एंड जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव आफ्टर टेकिंग द आई सी अप्रूवल यू कैन स्पेसिफाई लाइक दिस आफ्टर दिस क्वालिटी अश्योरेंस वेदर द रिसर्च इज गोइंग टू बी हैविंग सम क्वालिटी और नॉट सो यू हैव टू अश्योर वेदर इट इज हैविंग सम क्वालिटी और नॉट सो एग्जैक्टली यू कैन कॉपी एंड पेस्ट दैट इज नॉट द इशू आफ्टर दैट ह्यूमन पार्टिसिपेंट प्रोटेक्शन द पीपल हु आर टेकिंग पार्ट इन अवर रिसर्च हु आर पार्टिसिपेंट दे शुड नॉट बी हार्मड इन एनी वे फिजिकली इमोशनली एंड देयर कंसेंट एंड देयर ओपिनियन शुड बी वैल्यूड सो फॉर दैट वी विल बी राइटिंग दिस थिंग वलनरेबल पॉपुलेशन विल नॉट बी इंक्लूडेड रिस्क आर देयर देर आर नो रिस्क इन दिस स्टडी एंड वॉट आर द बेनिफिट टू द पार्टिसिपेंट ओबियसली वी आर वी शुड नॉट प्रोवाइड एनी मॉनिटरी बेनिफिट्स सो यू हैव टू राइट नो मॉनिटरी बेनिफिट्स विल बी प्रोवाइडेड बट इफ द पर्सन मीन वाइल इफ द पर्सन इज डायग्नोज्ड विद एनी डिसीज ही और शी विल बी इन्फॉर्म्ड फॉर द फर्दर ट्रीटमेंट और डायग्नोसिस देन कॉन्फिडेंशियलिटी विल बी मेनटेन वी विल नॉट रिवील सो एंड सो पेशेंट इज हैविंग सो एंड सो डिसीज टू एवरी वन and everything informed consent will be taken their opinion will be valued if they are interested only they will be taking part in our research and then ethics committee clearance it is must to take before doing any research so it will be taken after that you have to write the implications means how this research is going to be helpful in the present scientific world so this is how you are going to it is going to help in so and so way it is going to establish a link between 2d 4d ratio and stress so that if the person is stressful we can detect okay at what time he is going to get hypertension or if you are doing some research before the person has really got disease so it will help them to prevent the disease if they are at more risk so these are the implications after that reference reference you have to write from where you have seen those literature review and all those things i'll be explaining about the references in next video if you have any doubt you can ask in comment section thanks for watching